Number 77. Compare the functions of homogeneous or homogeneous and heterogeneous catalysts. Okay. So let's write down homogeneous or homogeneous, whichever way you want to say the word. So I say homogeneous. Homogeneous. And then heterogeneous. Heterogeneous. Okay. And then we'll put the word catalyst here. And then catalyst. Okay. So the first thing is, what's the diff? Uh, what's the similarities between these two, right? Now they're both under the term of a catalyst. Now the definition of a catalyst is a substance that will take an alternate pathway from reaction reactants to products to make the reaction rate faster. A catalyst will always speed up the reaction. Now, before we do that, let's just say, just so that we put it into perspective here, um, we have a reactant, so whatever that is, going to products. So reactants going to products. Okay. Now, a catalyst in general, the similarities between both of these is since they're classified as catalysts, just like we said, they will increase the reaction rate. So they will always make the reaction faster. So make the reaction, reaction faster. And this, this is killing me over here, if anybody knows. Uh, everything's gotta be somewhat in the middle. <laughs> So whether you're a homogeneous catalyst or a heterogeneous catalyst, they will both increase the reaction rate. So it will make the reactants go to products or convert into products at a much faster rate. It'll make the reaction faster. And by doing this, it finds an alternate pathway or a different pathway. So alter, oh boy, alternate pathway. that lowers something called the activation energy. Now the activation energy is represented by a E and then a subscript A. The activation energy is the highest amount of energy needed to, uh, for your reactants to reach, right? In term, and you know, in general, re uh, energy is bad, right? We don't want reactions that have high amounts of energy because they're way, way, way unstable. By lowering the energy needed to convert over to your products, the reaction is going to be much quicker. Getting up to energy values takes time. So if you can find a, a pathway that has a lower activation energy, that reaction is going to be quicker. So these are the similarities. So all the similarities, similarities are in blue. But now let's talk about the differences between um, homogeneous catalysts and heterogeneous. Now, by definition, right, we've seen these words before or you should have seen these words before, all the way in the beginning of class, when you talked about homogeneous or homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures, right? Homogeneous or homogeneous means one, right? It's the same species. So for a, a homogeneous mixture, right? There was tons of compounds in the mixture, but you couldn't tell the difference between the compounds because everything is one whole uniform um, species. Kind of like a can of, you know, soda, right? Coke versus Pepsi. Doesn't matter. I've said this on the channel. Coke all the way. Sorry, Pepsi fans. I hope this doesn't separate us too much, but uh, you can't beat it. You can't beat Coca-Cola. But anyway... If you look on the back of a can of soda, right, there's tons of ingredients on there, right? And Diet Coke over regular Coke because, you know, we've got to watch the sugar. <laughs> but if you're drinking Coke, I mean, come on, right? Who, who, who cares? <laughs> but anyway, if you look on a bad, uh, you know, uh, can of soda, 
there's tons of ingredients on there, but when you pour the soda and, you know, after all the, the bubbles fizz out, right? So don't take into consideration that there's bubbles and stuff. But if you look at soda, you're just going to see one color. You cannot tell the difference where, you know, if it's Diet Coke, where the aspartame is and all the other stuff that's in there. That's homogeneous or homogeneous. But heterogeneous means different. So when you have a certain mixture, right, we're talking about mixtures here, um, when you have different mixture, a uh, heterogeneous mixture, you can see the differences. So this would be like biting into, I don't know, a candy bar, right? So you, you bite into a Snickers. <laughs> you bite into a Snickers when you're hangry. But if you bite into a Snickers, right, first off, you look in the back of the, the candy bar, tons of ingredients, right, which means that there's tons of compounds in there. And when you bite it, you can clearly see the difference. You can see... I guess, I think, in a Snickers bar, there's chocolate and nuts, right? Tell me if I'm wrong. I haven't had a Snickers in a while. Not one of my favorites. My favorite is Reese's. I mean, come on. <laughs> you gotta love Reese's. But even if you bite into a Reese's, you see the, this chocolate and you see the peanut butter. So that's also heterogeneous. It's the same idea here. A homogeneous catalyst is basically a catalyst that is the same species as, now we're going to add it to the, you know, catalyst definition. It's the same species as your reactants. So, for example, if you have your reactants, reactants, if you have your reactants going to your products, and maybe for, you know, simplicity, we'll just say R to P. If your reactants is a gas and your catalyst, if it's a homogeneous catalyst, that catalyst has got to be a gas. They have to match. So if your reactants are liquid, your catalyst has to be a liquid as well. That's what a homogeneous catalyst is all about. It's the same species as your reactants. So if, if your reactance is a solid, the catalyst has got to be a solid. Heterogeneous catalyst is now different species, you know, as the reactance. So in your reactance to products, if your reactance is a gas, generally speaking, if it is a heterogeneous catalyst, the catalyst is going to be a solid. So the catalyst would be a solid, and now you have two different species. That is the difference. So a heterogeneous catalyst, the state of the catalyst has to be different from the reactant. So if this is a solid, this cannot be a solid. Generally speaking, though, a heterogeneous catalyst will be a solid, So which means that the reactants will be either gas or liquid. And then, if it's a homogeneous catalyst... That catalyst has to be the same species as the reactant. So if it's a gas, the reactant's got to be a gas. If it's a liquid, reactant's got to be a liquid. And that is basically it. So there we go. Similarities, they both lower uh, the activation energy, making the reaction faster. Difference is different states, depending on whether you're the same or different from your reactants. And that's it. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. And if you want to help us out more, uh, become a member. That would help the channel out greatly, and we could pump out more videos than we have been doing thus far. Any, you know, any bit of help works for the channel, and it's because of you guys that this channel exists. So thank you so, so much, and I will talk to you in later lessons. Bye-bye. Have an awesome day. See you then. Bye-bye.